thank you very much for inviting me here as well. Uh, we will be talking about WordPress wellness. So, 4G terms management, doctor is used as a medical treatment, some of the other things that we have to do, and we have to give you an author, or a medicine to get there. So, 4G terms are already used here, but it is all about our website, the history, and the development, and the post view. So, this is a brief introduction of, about me. I am a developer and I am an engineer as well. And right now I am product manager at NOS Software. Uh, the fact that I am volunteering in a few communities, one of them is working in Islamabad, uh, then Doctor Community in Pakistan, and then uh, Kalyan Street for Manager. So I will start with a short story of every developer's life, even if uh, you are not writing code, but you are building WordPress websites using drag and drop or installing plugin. It may happen to you as well. So uh, a few days back, uh, a client uh, sent me this screenshot, and he said, "Size dash whatever was out." And the next message was, "The customer asked me to explain." So this was uh, a short uh, screenshot and message I received from a client. And what was happening at that time? I was in the evening uh, going out for snacks with my friends, and suddenly. My phone buzzes and that screenshot appears again. And you can see uh, the website is not loading. It is some uh, string here, and we don't know what happened behind that. So what goes wrong? Uh, I was not able to go out to have uh, snacks with my friends because I had to fix this. It is in production environment. So I spent some time to fix uh, to find the culprit, then roll back whatever the problem was and then update uh, something. And in this procedure, the bad thing happened is I could not update a very much used plugin to its latest version. Because whenever I will update that plugin to the latest version, uh, the cycle goes down because it is, it is having compatibility issue. So same situation might, ha might happen to any of you whenever you are uh, upgrading your website to the latest version or some plugin or some theme. So these kind of things may happen. So this nightmare may fail if you are uh, confident enough, you can fix it. Uh, but the lesson done during this procedure uh, should be carried out and we should learn from these mistakes. So I will be talking all about these kind of things. So uh, based on my story, this is a common story for a developer, a person who is a problem solver. So, uh, as a developer, we solve problems, we are master of codes, and we are architect of digital world. And our journey uh, begins with a challenge. If there is no challenge, there is no learning, there is no improvement, there is no, uh, uh, I would say, flying high. So it starts with a challenge, and then we learn from mistakes, and then we emerge stronger than before, we fly higher than before, and based on these challenges, we go ahead in our life. Uh, there is another email uh, received from another client that uh, in WordPress it is very common that uh, you, whenever your website goes live, after some time you start getting uh, scan emails or a scanning on your websites and you don't know how to handle that. So what are the common mistakes uh, based on my experiences uh, from uh, working with different clients? So uh, one of the website uh, I am handling uh, right now, actually it came to me from someone else uh, because uh, the company hired someone who did some work on that and they could not maintain it. And then they reached out to me that uh, how, how we can survive with this website. Because we cannot uh, go again to build it again, so there are some things that we need. And when I uh, saw that website, it has almost uh, 40 plugins. At that time, it had 56 plugins. Some of them I had to uh, disable, but I cannot disable all of them because uh, some of the plugins have been used on different pages. Uh, the other common mistake is uh, writing customization in theme and plugin files. There was a client uh, whose website, international client, some uh, I would say PostgreSQL uh, uh, services provider. Uh, international level and the website was built uh, with some company in Pakistan and when I saw that website the customization was done in the premium theme and they were not able to update their WordPress website 
they were not able to upgrade their core WordPress, they were not able to upgrade their premium team, they have purchased it. So uh, that was the situation with them. Uh, then uh, normally when developers are writing code, what they do, they write all the logic in functions.php. So whatever you have to do, uh, you will write some, uh, see somewhere, either on Stack Overflow or Chat GPT or somewhere, it will say you uh, that uh, write this function into function.php. And what we will do, we will be uh, putting everything into functions.php of our child in case we are using. Otherwise, we will be writing it into the uh, common uh, function.php file for the things. And what will happen? If any of the function goes wrong, your whole function.php will uh, be uh, broken and your website will not be launched. So uh, in my uh, projects, what I did, I break all the functionality based on different reasons and I include them into function.php instead of writing all the code into function.php. Uh, then ignoring security, we, at the time of writing code, we focus on uh, getting the job done, we focus on what functionality is required, but we heavily ignore the security aspect of it, we ignore the performance aspect of it. Then most of the uh, developers who are doing website, they will be doing it on production. There will be no backup plan, there will be no staging or testing environment. And we can talk about it and there are a lot of lists uh, or a lot of things that are uh, common problems that are being done with the freelancers. And based on these uh, common problems or common ignorance we do, or what kind of things we face. Uh, slow loading time. Uh, most of the websites that are older or that have some uh, big clientage uh, or the websites that are being used internationally or in multiple lingu languages, uh, they will be having uh, this common problem that uh, if any of the uh, developed website is hiring a new developer, they will ask you first that this website is loading too slow and they need to uh, make it uh, load under 3 seconds. So this is the common problem. Then broken links, uh, even uh, yesterday we were discussing, I guess, with someone. So it is very common that we uh, don't uh, uh, perform quality assurance of our websites uh, regularly and something goes wrong or some uh, links are broken, we don't know and our websites are going by. Uh, uh, then image optimization, it is another very common mistake from uh, my clients as well. Uh, they will get uh, an image, even if they are purchasing it from uh, the uh, service providers internationally, uh, they will be uh, downloading high quality image. For example, it will be 4 megapixel or 5 megapixel image because they want to get the uh, high quality image, high definition. But for website or on our web browser, we uh, are seeing the website mostly, most of the time, in 1080p or less than that. If we are using somewhere uh, a thumbnail and at that place if we are using high quality image that makes no sense because it is already too small to uh, be viewed from the uh, end user of your website. So why we are using high definition images at that place we can use optimized images. So these are a uh, few performance aspects. Then security aspect of it. Uh, as I mentioned, when we are writing all the code in one place, we or we are writing code in uh, the theme or the plugins premium, we cannot update our WordPress code, we cannot update our theme. So in that case, we have updated themes and plugins. A couple of years back, there was a big uh, 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 issue uh, with respect to security aspect, and all the websites must have to incorporate that because. WordPress will be providing regularly security updates, but if our websites are not compatible enough, we will not be updating our WordPress code. Then it is very common mistake that uh, we are using weak passwords in our website, or if you are building a website for a client, and then uh, after delivering to the client, you will be asking them that you can create your password. And to keep it memorizable, they will be writing their name, most commonly I have seen, or one, two, three, four, five. So they will be, your client will be using big passwords that is guessable and that is a problem. So as a uh, service provider, it is your responsibility that even your client or the account you are creating for your clients, even if they are using it for a uh, content update, uh, should not be big. <laughs> so these are common. Then with respect to uh, functionality, uh, I have seen in websites, uh, 
whenever, uh, or most of the time, I have seen that the person who develops a website, they are building uh, some custom plugin and they are putting it into MU plugins in WordPress. So some of the uh, people who already know about MU plugin is a uh, much used plugin in WordPress. So in that case, uh, you don't need to activate or deactivate that plugin. But whenever we go to a third party or a service provider to build the website, they will be writing something into uh, MU plugin, even if that is not that much required, just to make sure that the client is not going away to them. So that is a common problem uh, with respect to updates, regular updates in uh, languages, programming languages, or the updates in WordPress code, they get outdated. Then there are custom code errors every year developers and we can do mistakes and it is very common uh, sometimes to do mistakes. We write, uh, even if we are missing a semicolon, it is a blender for us or it can lead to a wide screen of death in WordPress website. So these are the uh, mistakes and common. So this is just a screenshot. Uh, this is the website that is after optimization. I cannot uh, downgrade some of the plugins. I cannot uh, deactivate some of the plugins. This is after that situation. Before that, it had almost 56 plugins. So if any of the plugins is outdated, it is making my website or my client's website vulnerable. If any of the plugin is having bad code, it is uh, keeping a uh, door open for hackers to compromise that website. Uh, with respect to SEO, there is also problems that we face. I'm not an expert of SEO, but these are a few common things that when our website is not uh, beautifully crafted or uh, cautionary crafted, these kind of issues we may have. For example, poorly optimized content, uh, missing meta description, or duplicate content on different pages. So these are the common SEO uh, issues that we may face. Then with respect to usability, uh, at the time of development, we are developing the functionality and we uh, totally ignore what a customer actually needs. And we, uh, when we ignore that aspect, we are building something that is not usable, uh, that is leading to low customer base or no uh, customer interaction to the websites or the client's websites. <coughs> And that is mobile responsiveness is very common in developers that uh, even UI UX developers, when we ask them, this is the Figma design and you have to develop that. Uh, at first, they will be building website for the website. And if I don't ask a developer that it is mobile responsive or did you make that page mobile responsive, they will never do it. Uh, 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 in current situation, it is better that our, mobile, our websites should be mobile responsive first. So these are a few uh, proactive measures that we should take while building our websites. Uh, first of all, uh, WordPress coding standards are openly available on website, on uh, WordPress website, WordPress.org. Uh, we should read them and we should, all the developers at least, uh, they should read what are the coding standards. I ask very commonly to the candidates who are coming to me for the job, uh, that what are the coding standards you are using. Uh, they will normally answer one to two things. That is, we keep our uh, variable name in the lower case, we keep our function name into this, and they think that this is the everything about coding the standard, but it is not. There are many things into coding the standards that we should follow. Credibility, I have not added more content to these uh, terms because I want you guys to go to the uh, Google or any chat GPT or any of the uh, resource online and search about it. Uh, it is as a very common uh, practice even in our uh, community. Community people are asking that this is a premium thing. Anyone can give me that thing. I would say, bhai, aap agar kuch kamana chahte ho, to aap uske kuch invest bhi karoge. So if, for example, I want to earn $100, it means at least $10 will spend with the change. Yeah, at least ask your client to uh, purchase that team for you whenever you are going to a premium team. So instead of downloading null team or asking someone to provide that team and you don't know what kind of uh, code uh, that team has, uh, it is a pure vulnerability, nothing else. 
Then child teams, it is uh, very uncommon in developers that they don't create child teams. They are writing code into the whatever team they are uh, buying it. So it is uh, and the recommendation to all the developers to uh, start with the child team. Even if you are not a developer, you can put anything into open source some platforms and they will create a child team for you. So it is just a click away, but you must follow these uh, practices. Then uh, choose reputable and maintainable maintain plugin in WhatsApp directory whenever you will go, you will see uh, how much compatible that plugin is. If that plugin is, uh, because whenever someone submits a plugin or whenever someone submits a new update of a plugin, it is updated on the WordPress.org website and you can uh, get the deals from that. So if you ignore that information that this plugin is not being updated last two years, so how do you imagine it is up, uh, well maintained with respect to the latest uh, PHP or React language or if it is compatible with the latest WordPress version. So these are the few things that we should be considering. And whenever you have to extend a functionality of a plugin or a theme, you should always go to books. It is another uh, common uh, thing that is, I would say, the strongest part of WordPress is providing WordPress source so that you can extend the functionality without affecting the old code of the uh, theme or plugin. But uh, mostly developers don't understand what are the hooks and how they can use it. So whenever, uh, if you want to extend the functionality of WooCommerce or if you want to extend the functionality of some other uh, feature or theme, just write about what hooks you need to uh, uh, use to extend that functionality and definitely you will get a hook for that. So uh, almost every other line of WordPress provides uh, support of a hook that will be used on that uh, stage. For example, whenever a page is loading, there is a hook for in it. Whenever some content is being displayed, there is a hook for uh, content. Whenever there is some header function that is being used, there is a hook for header functionality. And whatever uh, theme or plugin you are using, if it is well maintained, it will be providing your hooks. So uh, if you want to, if you want to update some, uh, I would say even if you want to update some colors or you want to add some CSS or uh, styles, you can use hooks into that. A uh, few more things that is regularly update your WordPress core themes and plugins. If due to some reason you cannot update any of the uh, WordPress core or plugin or theme, it means you are vulnerable to the uh, security uh, problems. Then you should have backup uh, at place. Uh, for example, every seven days your website gets a backup, or maybe if you, it is very critical, you can have a backup every day and delete all backups, but you should have some backups in place. Uh, then implementing uh, security measures. Uh, there are many uh, security measures available. For example, uh, you should you can just install a plugin to keep your website secure uh, or give you vulnerabilities whenever it happens. For example, uh, if a user is using uh, weak password, it will not allow it. If the uh, WP admin or WP login page, we can hide them. If there is any uh, security aspect of it, they will take care of it. So you have to uh, take care of security. Uh, then you can also monitor your uh, website performance through some uh, third-party platforms. And even uh, Jetpack is have very good facility. If you don't want to go explore a lot of things, uh, Jetpack is also built uh, by automatic. You can use that simply. It will tell you whenever the website goes down, you will get an email. Whenever your website has some vulnerability, you will get an email. So there are uh, multiple features of that. You can even optimize your images and uh, uh, I would say minification of your uh, uh, files uh, with just one plugin. So there are a lot of plugins available. Uh, I'm not naming any uh, specific plugins, but you can go to that. And A-B testing is very uncommon in uh, this industry uh, that it is very relevant to the people who are doing marketing business or who are doing some SEO that uh, alpha-beta testing is a concept where you build two similar kind of page with different, uh, I would say, user journey and it helps you to understand which user journey is being adopted by the people uh, so that you can improve your website.
So the ID for crashes is very important for developers and uh, for us if, if we are not adopting or according to the situation, if after a few years we are not uh, fixing that, uh, we will not be improving as I mentioned earlier. So whenever you have a problem or your website goes down, you are seeing wide screen of death on your website. This, this is the smallest check is possible that you should be doing. So first of all, go to your uh, config file and enable debug mode or display errors of your WordPress. So because whenever a white screen of death happens in WordPress, you don't know what, else, what is happening because uh, by default, a production environment, uh, it does not display any of the errors. That is also security measures. But if the website is giving some error or you are facing white screen of death, you have to enable debug mode first. Uh, second thing is you can read the error logs that is also part of the Ruby content folder. You can uh, go to that and see which file or which plugin is uh, giving some problem to you. Uh, third thing, if it is not helping, you can disable the active theme. Whatever theme is being used, for example, you are using some child theme or you are using some theme purchased or used from some friend, uh, you have to disable that so you can find if uh, after disabling that key, uh, your website is loading or not. So if, it, if it is loading, it means the problem is in that uh, theme files. And then you have to dig out uh, further deeper into that theme. If that is not helping, next thing is uh, about plugins. So we can do it step by step. For example, a website that has 37 plugins, how can I know that which plugin is giving me problem? So at stage one, what I did, I disabled all the plugins. Uh, so I changed the name of the directory of uh, plugins folder so that I know uh, if disabled plugin is helping me or not. So that was the first step. It gave me indication that yes, it is the reason. Then I saw which plugins recently updated. I was enabling them one by one and seeing that which one is uh, giving a problem. And eventually I had to find a solution. And then uh, in this specific case, where I started my story, I had to roll back of uh, major release. Uh, because of that, it was affecting the website of client. So that is the story that I wanted to share with you. So may your part be filled with likes and knowledge. That is my wish to all of you, all of the members. You can stay in contact with me. Uh, there is a guy who needs some questions. So with some customization we can achieve that. But uh, by default even जो अच्छे plugins या अच्छी आपके अंदर जब हम लोग well maintained plugin use करेंगे तो उनके अंदर mandatory है कि उनका delete का mechanism within plugin available होगा. जब हम किसी developer से कोई plugin बनवाएंगे और या हम कोई ऐसा plugin use करेंगे जो कि well maintained नहीं है तो उसके अंदर ऐसी चीजें होंगी कि 
जब प्लग इन डिलीट होगा तो वहाँ पर इन्फेक्शन तो बिल्कुल फ्री छोड़ा होगा उसके अंदर कुछ भी नहीं निकल रहा होगा तो उस केस में फिर पर्यटक रिजाइड करेगा हमारी वर्कर्स के अंदर उसको क्लीन करने का तरीका सिर्फ फिलहाल वही है कि जो हम अपनी वर्कर्स के ऊपर एक क्लिनिंग स्ट्रिप चलाए कि वो तमाम कस्टम पोस्ट टाइप्स जो कि यूज़ नहीं हो रही या जो एक्टिव नहीं है उनका डेटा और उनके अगेंस्ट जो भी मेटर डेटा है वो डिलीट कर सकते थैंक यू अच्छा <laughs> और कुछ नहीं है तो अभी ना हमें एक केस बना था इंजेक्शन का 
हो सकता है जो आपका एक्टिविटी अकाउंट है ना वो कम्प्रोमाइज होगा क्योंकि मल्टीपल डेवलपर्स मल्टीपल मशीन यूज करते हैं और मैंने अपनी मशीन के ऊपर एक सॉफ्टवेयर सॉल्व किया हुआ है एक्स वाई जी ठीक है और उस सॉफ्टवेयर की वजह से मेरा जो एक्टिविटी का अकाउंट है वो कम्प्रोमाइज हो चुका है तो वी डोंट नो अबाउट दैट ये केस टू केस वेरीफाई करना पड़ेगा केस टू केस आपको स्टडी करना पड़ेगा कि इस केस में क्या प्रॉब्लम है हम लोग कंट्रोल डिसीजन चलिए